Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are going to be going over the late night series number 31 grand finals. On one hand, we have Beam playing Mew v Max, and on the other hand, we have Takedo playing Mew v Max, something that we would have not expected from the results of Salt Lake City Regionals. Mew did not make top eight, um, and here we have two in the grand finals together. On Beam side, we do have access to Mew v Max. Um, they are going to be playing a little bit of an interesting list, only playing Rose Tower and um just three rose tower it's really interesting going more with the natalie miller double turbo energy triple of those there's a peony there's a lot of really cool little text there's the echoing horn that we saw them use throughout the day on the other side we are going to see um more of a traditional mew list with double psychic energy um two training core one rose tower um so a little bit of a difference in list there only one choice belt so we're going to have to see who's going to be taking it down. I mean, based off of my experience, the triple double turbo energy is better in Mirror. I could be wrong, but we are going to be having Takudo start it up. So let's go ahead, see how that plays out, and let's watch them play out their game. We do see that they have the one Meloetta out. Are they going to be able to get out two single prizers to avoid just getting knocked out by a turn one Meloetta on the other side? Quick ball, for sure. Definitely want to get a Genesect out here if I ever saw an opportunity to get one. And it might just take a second to search through. We'll see how that plays. Give every player an opportunity to kind of search through their deck, figure out exactly what's going on. And just hitting a switch, I don't think switch is really important. I think my list only runs two switch, one escape rope right now in my personal Mew list. And we are going to see Genesect using its Fusion Strike to draw two cards. Are those two cards going to be important? It could be a Battle VIP pass ripping on the first turn. I think that could be huge. Oh, nothing really, but just going into that Meloetta. Now, we do see that there is um, it's an interesting hand because we already see that there's an Escape Rope. We do see the Ellis' Sparkle. We can just draw easy two prize cards here. It's so tempting to go for the Meloetta if you know what's up. Because even just going something crazy like uh, Genesect, not going to be huge here. Like, I think you almost have to go for Meloetta, draw your two prize cards, and hope that you draw out of it later. I mean, and it looks like that's the kind of move that we're going to be going with. Meloetta is, quite honestly, what most players despise about Mew VMAX overall. Meloetta with its Millennius Echo attack just ripping through. It's going to draw two prize cards before the game is even started. So Beam just in an advantage instantly. Um, there's three energies going down to a zero card hand escape rope. And it's who is Takano going to be taking to just like absolutely... They're sacrificing a Pokemon here. Of course you got to sacrifice the Mew with, without the energy. Kind of a crazy take on that. There's two ten, and what are they going to draw off their prize cards? That's a big question. Power tablet, not going to matter. Choice belt, not going to matter. So a little bit of a risky play there. We'll have to see how Takedo is able to really bring this back. Um, and I mean, we do see Beam. Beam might just be like one top deck away. I mean, what else are you going to do when you have Escape, Probe, Fusion Strike, Energy, Elisa? I probably would have done the same thing and been like, I'm going to find a way to get out of this. Don't worry. So it really puts them ahead of the game. Going second there is better if you are able to draw two prize cards. But basically, both players have to draw their earliest prize cards in any denomination as early as possible. So the whole idea is to go two prizer, two prizer, two prizer to draw all six of your prize cards. And that can be consistent of Mew, Genesex, whatever. You can also knock out a single prize card like Meloetta or Corio, a Mew V Max. And then you can knock out a Genesect or a Mew in any particular order. Now, it just depends. Is uh, Takedo going to be able to bring it back with a boss double turbo energy? Like, how do you how do you go boss? Like, are you able to go boss's orders? Like, how's this going to work out? We, we do see that they could get the knockout with, like, something like Max Miracle that does take the biggest threat off of Beam's board. Just here, gone. Uh, because Beam, like, we're looking at Beam's hand. There's nothing. They're looking for a quick ball. They're looking for an ultra ball. They're looking for something. So here you just send up the Mew, any of the Mews. I guess the Mew with the energy is probably a little bit easier to send up. And uh, there's Echoing Horn. Um, this to me looks like the game is over. 
the opportunity to top deck out of the prize cards or the top of the deck. Just not going to happen. So I think we might just be seeing a quick, 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 quick session. Oh, one game one. Ah, we'll fix that. It uh, definitely went first. But now it's going to be one game one. So we're going to be moving right into game two. Um, really, really, really quick. You can see how Mew can just uh, be an unforgiving deck in a lot of ways. So let's see how this plays out. We're watching history. Late Night Series champ going to be won by Mew. Which Mew? Good question. And I think that it's going to be beam going first. I'm just going to double check the pairings. Yeah, beam's going to be going first here. So, no basics there. We'll see what they just like what they get out of the mulligan. Certainly, certainly, certainly can be interesting. Awesome. Let's see those cards go back in. And we do see Genesec, we do see Battle VIP Pass. These are certainly good cards. Quick Ball, Ultra Ball. So got a little bit more things kind of rolling out here. And there's that Oracorio start. Really good start over there for uh, Takedo. Getting Oracorio in this matchup can be pretty big as well. Um, just reducing that double turbo energy damage and all that good stuff. And I do like that Beam is searching through their prize cards, which is certainly huge. Okay. There's another Mew. Cool. I guess you just attach the energy to the Mew. And I would just like rip the Ultra Ball maybe. But we're gonna see the fusion strikes just um, hit the board. Maybe they get some get some more cards. Maybe quick ball away an Ellis' sparkle. Quick ball away the ultra ball. I mean that seems fair as well. The only thing that's tough now is not having out two single prize card Pokemon. Um, if Takedo is just able to like rip one with a Meloetta, it's gonna be bad. Uh, two prizes, and that would put Takedo in an instant lead going second. Um, at this point, there's really not much else to do except pass. Um, so we are going to see Takedo's turn really play out. Again, they are going to be looking for that Meladius Echo. Very vicious movements. Um, but we'll have to see how it plays out for them. Quick Ball to start it off can definitely be hot. Um, if they have Quick Ball, it tells me that they do not have Battle VIP Pass in hand. Maybe they have Cramomatic for Battle VIP Pass. We'll have to see how that plays out. Um, but it's probably going to be a Genesect here. Usually want to start off um, kind of the base of the pyramid, just drawing extra cards. Uh, keep your start structurally strong. And I do think uh, Takedo is probably looking into the importance of this match being like, hey, I am one game away from being the late night series number 31 champ. What does that, what does that get you? It gets you a bunch of packs from PTC Geo Store. Shout out to our sponsor, PTC Geo Store. You could always use code ZLASSAGE5 to save 5% on your next order of codes. And it also gets you some Guap Money Atlas Store credits. I think it's uh, 50 bucks if I did my math right. Or is it 100 bucks? Is it 100 bucks for first place? I think it might be 100 bucks for first. We'll have to see what the pricing is here. Yeah, $100 Atlas Store credits. That's amazing. That's almost like a booster box. Um, it might be a booster box. We'll have to see exactly what it is. Shout out to Atlas Collectibles. You could always use code ZLASSAGE8 to save 8% on your next order of codes. Both of those codes are available in the description. If you are trying to pick up some uh, coaching, if you're trying to learn a little bit more about the game, you can go to metafi.gg slash at Lassage. Pick up some coaching from me on my journey. Enough with the shameless plugs, though. Uh, we're, we're really watching... Uh, a potential knockout here like this is looking like a really good turn from Takedo. we will need to see some fusion strike energies hit the floor so we can use Meladius echo that's the big question 
Will we see Melodious Echo hit the floor? Time just keeps on going down. There's a switch. Maybe they're just trying to play out a little bit more. There's an Alice of Sparkle. Does that mean that there's a Fusion Strike energy in hand? And there's the Fusion Strike energy. So Takedo, Meladius Echo, back-to-back -back games. We are going to see Meloetta ripping through a two-prizer Pokemon on the first turn of the game. In this case, Takedo is going to be the one who's ripping with Meladius Echo here. So really, we got to see how Beam is going to bring this back up. I do think Takedo is just going to go energy on Mew, boss's orders um and then double turbo energy on mew boss's orders we're not gonna see a boss here that's a big 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 deal um beam is just gonna be taking a one prize card knockouts and that's gonna be a little bit tough although we do see the four fusion strike energies hit the floor so that is a bit of enough of whatever's gonna be going on reading through the comments here because we're also live on youtube at this time everyone in the top 16 is gonna walk away with some codes Everyone in the top eights and higher is going to be walking away with some codes and Atlas store credit as well. You can always check out the details page, see exactly what's going on, but the tournaments are free. The prizing is generous. There's that Meloetta needed so we can copy Melodious Echo. It's going to be more than enough to knock at this poor Meloetta. But uh, we'll, we'll really see how Beam really gets back in here. I think they're like... We chug along, take a prize card every single turn, or draw some amount of prize cards every single turn. We could we could pull this one back out. All right, all right. Really interesting here. Like, do they just go for another Genesect? I don't think that sounds bad. You probably want to use some more Fusion Strike systems. Um, but otherwise, they're just going for Max Miracle. I think Max Miracle is a bit of a scary attack, especially like I would just go for the Meladius Echo to be honest. It's not like it's going hit for the high scores. You never want to forget something like a double turbo energy or, or Corio. I know Max Miracle goes through everything, but I just mean like the whole premise is like hit for the big attacks when you possibly can. So let's see how Takedo really brings this one back. We're going to now change this over to the Mew Max because I think we're just going to see Mew Max slug it out for the next couple turns. We, we, we really can see Takedo win this game in two turns. Either player is likely just going to win in two turns. But it is going to be more difficult for Beam to win the game in two turns because they will have to knock out a three prize card Pokemon, whereas Takedo can use the very uh, famous boss's orders knockout kind of technique. And I guess we just kind of uh, chill out on this. We're, we're going to be seeing how it plays out. There's some Genesect. Are we going to see the boss's orders? That's the big question. Really looking for that boss to knock out a Genesect to draw another two prize cards here. Or if there's an op if there's a possibility to just rip this Mew Max of Shreds, you always take that one too. There's a heads that can very easily just be a boss's orders. I don't see a world where it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's going to be some other things. We're seeing they're going to go for the quick ball. Maybe they have some bosses prized. Looking at Takato's list, how many bosses do they play? They only play three, so it might be a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, maybe maybe they're just randomly there. and There's one power tablets. Really interesting so far. I don't know why they're playing the power tablets. Unless they think they could get the knockout. Right now they're doing... What, 210, 240, 270? They need two more damage modifiers in order to get the knockout with that Mew. On the active. There's another power tablet. That's going to bring it to 300 damage. There's the fourth power tablet. Boom. Uh, Takano is going off crazy. Going to be knocking out this Mew V Max and really taking those Fusion Strike energies. Still continuing on. Uh, if there's no response on that Mew Max, it's a boss's orders away from just winning the game, or maybe even escape rope, or there's a whole bunch of ways. I think this game's just like looking really good for Takano. Classic Mew, uh, stealing games also from Mew. And 
and we are going to see the Elisa Sparkle, so that does make it a little bit easier for that other Mew to be attacking as well, uh, because now we're only one energy away from getting that knockout. So there's the Cross Fusion Strike, Techno Blast, knockout, boom. So that's going to put Takedo down to one prize card remaining. Um, and Beam is going to have to go ahead and go knockout, respond back, and hope that there's no boss orders. Remember, Mew does not play Marty, does not play Judge. These are cards that are not really typical. So we do see Choice Bell hit the floor. I mean, you got to knock out this Mew VMAX and hope your opponent does not get Mew VMAX Energy Boss. Um, that That's really where we're at here, if you are Beam. So there's one Power Tablet. We do need to see two more Power Tablets hitting the board so that Techno Blast can basically hit for an extra 120. We do see the Cramomatic to rip it off the top, and we do see a Power Tablet right there. So we're going to need to get the fish out the last Power Tablet from the deck um, while getting set up. And there's no point of getting another Mew set up because if you just let this Mew get knocked out, yeah, you lost the game anyways. So really, just it's just a plain point of Seeing how things set up, get those Genesects, draw those cards. Y'all know it's good. And let's see if we can try to find that other power tablet. It's a little bit like a needle in the haystack, but there are Cramomatics that can fish it out, and Rotom Thones that can fish it out, and drawing more cards to fish it out. Are we going to see the power tablets? No power tablet there. Do you go for Rotom Phone? Do you go for the Cramomatic? I think I would go for Rotom Phone here. Oh, but they're going to go for... The Rose Tower to try to draw some more cards or maybe shut off the training court. I would also put the double turbo energy down. Let's see what Fusion Strike system is going to bring here. Are we going to see Power Tablet? We are going to see the Peony. So the Peony works in very similarly. That does grab the last Power Tablet necessary. Um, I'm not sure if they want to draw any more cards or resource wise what's left. Let's just see this Fusion Strike system. Do you see Escape Room? I think you just got to go Peony at this point. Take that knockout and just really hope that your opponent has nothing else. Otherwise, like it's either Takedo or Beam right now. Takedo is really looking for that quick 2-0. I mean, the finals have been going on for like under 20 minutes at this point. There's that power tablet. And we are going to draw a few more cards. Looks like we're going to see Techno Blast for the knockout here. Two prize cards left. I mean, both players just absolutely... Knockout, 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 knockouts. Does Takedo have energy boss? The training court just was knocked away. So it could be like a miss. Although there is like eight, nine cards available in their hands. Will they get it? That's a big question. Mew VMAX, energy, boss. Or escape rope. So there's the fog crystal that does get the energy. That's step one. There's Mew VMAX, that's step two. We just need to see Escape Rope or Boss. And there's Boss's orders. Takedo is going to be our late night series champion. Congratulations to both players. Mew VMAX winning. Definitely a huge change from the metagame at Salt Lake City. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content.